Oh, because she ain't want to give you the number she paid a bill on? Oh, hell no. Murder of a 19 year old woman. Police say she was stabbed to death outside of Bodega in Brooklyn when she refused to give him his number. Right, Fox 5's Linda Schmidt joins us live from Park Slope. And Linda, you're hearing the suspect actually turn himself in. Yeah, he absolutely did that today. He showed up here at the 7A precinct. He turned himself in and he had his lawyer with him at the time. Now, the 19 year old victim and her twin sister, they were together last Sunday. And that is when she was stabbed to death. And police say the reason he did it is because she rejected him. If you knew the twins for 19 years of their life, no one deserves to lose a child. She did not deserve that. <laughs> she did not deserve that. That mom will never be the same. Samaya Spain, just 19 years old, stabbed in her neck and chest at this deli in Park Slope, Brooklyn, after a chance encounter with 20-year-old Veo Kelly. Her twin sister was slashed on her arm. Her dad, Stephen, is lost. Those are his twins. Those are his babies. The parents asking Yvette Ramos, a lifelong friend, to speak on their behalf. Police say Kelly, who had too much to drink, flew into a rage when Samaya would not give him her phone number. She and her sister did not know Kelly, had never seen him before. But to pacify him, she gave him her Instagram handle. Okay, she don't want to give you her number. She gave you her Instagram. That still don't give a reason. Delhi owner Mohammed Albahar watched the girls grow up. They and their family frequent his store. We feel really broken hearts, you know. Authorities say Kelly has at least one prior arrest for robbery. He turned himself in this morning at the 7 8 precinct. I spoke with LaShawn, her mom, and she would like to thank the detectives on the case. 7 8 got a good team for homicide and they did their job. They did their job and I thank them from the bottom of my heart. And Samaya's birthday, by the way, is next month. She and her twin sister would have celebrated their 20th birthday together. Back inside to you. Unreal. All right. No way that should have happened. I don't care what she said. Y'all probably like, Boogie, what you talking about? It was it was twins that were stabbed in New York. Um, a guy, hold on, y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm just trying to beat the eyes you can help. No two days the same, obviously. So this guy walking to a place. Um, he want to holler at a female, you know, talk to her. He say whatever he say, she turn him down and he leave. He get put out, whatever. They have a couple words. Um, the girl, her friend put the guy out. The lady, um, his twins, they leave. The guy come out of nowhere, stab both the twins. One of them fatal, died. The other one got stabbed in the arm. It's nothing she could have said that should have made that guy do that. But listen here, I'm a twin. I got a twin sister. I don't know what I'd do without my twin. So I could just imagine what that girl feel like. Her twin gone. I'm a dude. I got a twin sister. I don't know what I'd do without my twin. So, listen. This is how I look at it. I teach my twin to respect all men. Talk to them with respect. If somebody want to holler at you, don't diss them, don't nothing. Give them your, don't give them your number, get their number.
long as you sweet. Let me get your number. Ooh, ooh. You don't got to see him again. These dudes out here, they out of their mind. And they can't take rejection. And we don't know what they done been through. These dudes, they be out here really taking advantage of women. Doing S-A, you get what I mean, the assault type. Snatching women up like it's real dangerous for our women outside. It really is. Like, it's war against our women. It is. And I know our women are messed up, but they don't deserve that. And if they want to turn a dude down, they got the right to. Whatever they say, okay, dude, go on about your business. That girl lost her twin because a dude couldn't take rejection. However, she said it. Like, man, there's other women out here. I would never, it never been my style. And it shouldn't be no other guy's style at all. Because it's more women than dudes. And like people say, it's somebody out here for everybody. You could pay for a little mm mm mm. No, it ain't gotta be her. Gotta learn how to take rejection. And to women, you gotta, you gotta be feminine. You gotta know your way around dudes. Fake, give them what they want, and exit the situation. You're not gonna see them again. You can't be mouthing off and saying this and saying that because dudes, they can't take it. Am I saying what they do is right? No. But some dudes, they do just that or even worse than that. They shoot places up over females. These dudes is tender dick. Like, like it's not other female. I get it, y'all beautiful. Y'all this, y'all that. You ain't worth my life. And these dudes, damn, man, what? You put them on a pedestal like that? Oh, nah. Nah. Okay, it's another one of you. It's 10 more of you, better than you. And I'm not trying to be funny, you know what I'm saying? But to crash out like that and to take a life, leave that girl without her twin. New York. I forgot where they said that was at. I have to look again, man, but y'all take a hell for that one. But all over the country it been wicked. It been real wicked. A lot of stuff been happening to women. And really I always say like if they not gonna listen to us like me personally. If you under me, around me, to be protected, you got to listen to me. I'm not about to tell you nothing wrong. If you can't listen, it lead to things like that. You even protect it when I'm not around if you listen to what I tell you. Like my twin, my sister, she know how to interact with men. She respect men. Whether she like them or not. Cause I, this what I put into my sister. Like, man, I hate to have to, you know. And I tell her when it comes to relationships, I'm not doing nothing to know, man. You better call the police. I'm not doing nothing to know, cause so you can end up with that nigga if he get off on me and still be with. No, 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 no. But a dude in the street, oh, I'm coming. But with the relationship, I'm not getting into no relationship. No. Nah. But just some older. Yeah, all right, bet. I'm that type. So, like, that right there, that situation, if a dude disrespected my sister, she don't know, woo -woo, he just tried to holler, and it really got like that, I'd have been there to walk my sister out of there. My sister could have called me. I'd be like, I'm pulling up. I'd have pulled right up. Like, yeah, this dude just came in disrespecting me because I turned him down. I would have been right there. I'm on the way. Now, if she like her boyfriend, such and such, I'm like, hey, you better call the police. I wouldn't call the police 
if if I had one of my girls, one of my spicy nuggets with me, I'd have been like, hey, her dude didn't hit her, call the police and send them on over there. I wouldn't personally do it. I can't, you know, that's not my style. So let's just get that clear. That's not my style. But if you wanted to do it, that's on you. But definitely, I don't get in a relationship situations. And my twin, no, she can call me for anything. Just not that. Because you're going to end back up with them. I might get erased. I might end up in jail. Or he might end up in jail. And you're still sending the money. That's how most females do. But for that situation that happened in New York, my sister would have been able to call me and I would have walked my sister on up out of there. But nobody could have seen that happening. That's why you got to learn how to talk to men as females. You get more with honey. And how to protect yourself and protect yourself and be aware of your surroundings. But y'all, hit the, hit the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button. It's free. I'll be back with another one.